Part four of my ProMaster 2018 build out. This is the electrical section. Uh, the intro for this is basically uh, I ran 12 gauge wire throughout the van and the reason for this is I don't have to worry about overloading any type of components as far as running too many amps. 12 gauge is going to be more than enough. Uh, just like a house, uh, some people, they insulate and then they run the wiring. However, it's, I prefer to wire it and then run the insulation, even though you can see I've already started some of the insulation. But I always run the wire first and then put in the insulation. What you need to do as far as the tips and tricks on running your wire is make sure that you run, uh, do your plan out and then figure out where you're going to run the outlets, uh, components, USB, cigarette lighter, and 120 volts. Another thing with the 12 gauge is you can put your... 120 outlets and you can run the stranded and this is stranded 12 gauge it's not solid which is probably preferred uh, the tip I would give you as far as wiring goes run more wiring than you think you need so plan out your rig where your refrigerator is going to be where your uh, where you want your USBs where you want your 120 volt outlets and like you can see here I ran four segments of wire uh, for 12 volt red and black and then for my 120 I actually ran if you can see over here your standard white common black hot and your ground so it's really easy to wire up and that's stranded 12 gauge also so I'll have four outlets of 121 in the back so if you ever had to run anything off the back you just open the back doors and plug in and this will be where the bed will go so the outlet will be right above the bed and then I'm gonna run a 120 outlet over here as you can see the wires right here and you run it just like a house you, I've got actually except for where the sink is gonna go because it's gonna go right here and I ran wire and some metal conduit for a GFI. Uh, make sure you run the flexible, sometimes it's called Smurf tube, but flexible conduit. And that's probably pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, like I said, the best tip, oh, and make sure you label the wires. So all these are labeled where they go, like these labels, and this is where my converter batteries are going to go, right into here, and I'll have a fuse box that can take 12 volt and 120 volt for basic house fuses. So anyway, that's the tip and the tricks for, for me as far as wiring, wiring the van, and I'll see you on the next one.